Thank you, Madam Chair, and thank you, Deputy Secretary Lips, for being here. Uh, I know this has been asked many times, so please bear with me, but I just want to make sure that it's correct for the record. Um, and that is, uh, it's my understanding, or let me just ask this to make the record. Is there any attempt by the USDA to limit access to benefits by qualified individuals in other, in, excuse me, in either the SNAP or school meal program? No, sir. There's not. It, because I, I look at the, uh, the title here on the thing before I got the subcommittee. It says, examining the USDA's proposed cuts to the free school meals. That's what it says on our paper. Uh, so you don't currently or the rule will not change any eligibility for any SNAP or school meal program? That's correct. That's set by Congress? Yes, sir. Okay. So when I look at this, uh, the WIC programs and uh, were in school nutrition, child nutrition and WIC program was re last reauthorized in 2010. Is that correct? That's correct. That's correct. Okay. Th this is uh, the thing that I want to say, and this is coming from an individual. I'm not going to tell a story about people I represent or anecdotal stories. This is going to be a story about a kid that lived it. And I'm going to tell you, it's not fun to be hungry as a child. Uh, I, I had that childhood. And, uh, you know, when we look at that, there is nobody that wants to make or have anybody be hungry. I can't imagine what my parents went through knowing that their children were hungry. So to say that, that the administration or anybody else wants to change those guidelines, I think is just outrageous. So um, looking at this, you know, we're, we're having a debate here on, on taking the committee's valuable time on the proposed SNAP program, which falls under the jurisdiction of the Agriculture Committee. Is that correct? Yes, sir. So our jurisdiction in this committee would be for the school nutrition, uh, the school lunch program and so forth, correct? Correct. So I would suggest to my colleagues, rather than trying to prescribe motive or ascribe motive to to what the administration is trying to do to make sure things are more equitable and the, and the help is getting to where it needs to go. If we don't agree with the guidelines and think more people need help, then I would charge this committee with looking into having hearings on what we should be doing to change those guidelines. Because if we were to change the guidelines, you would enforce those new guidelines? Yes, sir, without a doubt. Okay, so, so again, the administration is not concerned with what the guidelines are or trying to eliminate anybody from getting help that needs help. That's correct. Okay, so again, I, I just want to say this one more time. If we are concerned about that, which we all should be, making sure that people get the help they need, we as Americans want to do that. So I would say to, to, to this committee, let's spend our time having hearings on what we should be doing to make sure those guidelines are reviewed and the people that get the help get the help rather than trying to uh, attribute some kind of negative motive to somebody that's just trying to do the job Congress gave them to do. So I yield back. 